It is indeed summer. The city feels so deserted. Although there are thousands of people dressed in sensible clothes and polished, yes, perfectly polished hiking boots, wearing handmade backpacks, milling about with guidebooks. They come in handsome pairs and shepherd at least one 16-year-old son or daughter. They are all lean and healthy. They are disgustingly wholesome. We have to get to the bottom of this. They congregate in art museums. They are not us. They stand in the way of the art. These strangers just spend too much time reading the labels in the wall texts. They speak German or Swedish. Maybe why that's why there's an art world exodus. Or because the summer art exhibitions are so bad. To take your revenge on an artist, give him or her a retrospective in the dead of summer. But seriously, why? Does the art world leave the comforts of home and culture every summer for the Hamptons or perish the thought? Upstate New York. To imitate English novels. No. The art world does not read English novels. To escape the white death or the yellow death or influenza. Once thought to have been caused by urban miasma. Certainly not. Nor to escape the heat. Everything is air conditioned now. Not subway platforms. Not the mean streets. But everything else. I have the answer. The mystery is now solved. The art world exits to get away from the bad summer exhibitions. And the tourists. The Museum of Modern Art announced that more than half of their visitors were from outside New York City. Is this true of the Metropolitan Museum of Art too? Feels like it. Little government support. Must get those tourist dollars. The Met charged $50 to visitors to the Alexander McQueen show on Mondays when normally the museum is closed for dusting and repairs. Smelling green. They upped the suggested donation by 5 bucks. Making it 25? To see fashion drivel. And loot. Ha ha. Ha real New York has only put down a rocker fell a dime. What is 25% of a dime? Then the Museum of Modern Art followed suit. They want 25 bucks too, but it is mandatory. No Rockefeller dimes allowed. Charge them, otherwise they won't appreciate it. Shouted the old man when his kin founded the museum. I am not kidding. Now we really need those euros. The director of the Museum of Modern Art may earn 1.6 million a year, plus a free apartment, but he deserves it. Have you ever met a museum trustee? Do you know the senior staff? They are all high maintenance. I say give him an increase. Should have doubled the admission to 40 bucks. Surely reading the label next to Van Gogh's Starry Night is a once in a lifetime treat and is worth $40. And the rest rooms are always clean. Sounds good to me. I say 40 bucks for tourists. Then the Museum of Modern Art could be free for New Yorkers. Wouldn't that be great?